Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Alex again. What's going on guys and girls? Um, today's update is basically almost the normal update. Uh, well, to get down, um, I finally saw my surgeon uh, Thursday. Um, I haven't seen him since October and I was supposed to see him in January, which was last month, but totally forgot totally went over the roof of my head um i guess i totally forgot to add it to my calendar my calendar didn't remind me because um i have an iphone and with an iphone sometimes you know it's kind of hard to keep track of your stuff because you know you have a lot of things going on you have all the applications you have the social networks that I'm, i now have facebook twitter instagram and such and such and so on and now youtube of course well uh for you guys um it's just a little hard, but uh, anyway, I remember it, and I rescheduled for this month, uh, which was last Thursday, um, and I'm proud to say that I have lost so far 205 pounds, to be exact, according to last Thursday. That means, being that I last time I have weighed myself was in December, beginning of December, or wait, actually mid-December, yes, um, I lost 24 pounds since that since that uh way in in December, so that means from January and now I'm losing what twelve months a pound um that's estimated three pounds a week um if I'm doing the math right, and uh that equals to two hundred and five pounds lost in eight months, so super proud um you know I couldn't be any more happier of my success um if I would have gone last year in January to get my weigh in, from as most of you know that in January I had set a goal to lose 200 pounds. Um, I'm afraid I will probably would have not have hit it. I would probably would have been about 10 pounds short or so, whatever the you know it would have been at that time. But um, it kind of made me a little proud that I held off till January because uh, I did hit it. I did lose 205 pounds, and again, I'm so happy and, and proud of my success. Um, and with my success comes a lot of help and friends, family, subscribers, um, the people on the VerticalSleepTalk.com site, doctors, uh, nurses, nutritionists, people at the group meetings, and so on and so on. Um, too much to name. Um... Now, when I went into my appointment, I uh, told surgeon that my left knee is acting up. Um, you know, it hurts a little just when I go up the steps only. Um, it's getting a little better. I do notice as the weeks and months go by, but it still hurts a little. And uh, I kind of made a little joke to him where my right leg is getting stronger because I use my right leg to kind of hop on my left leg. That way I don't, you know, uh, what do you call it, use my left knee so much. Um, in the extension, whatever you call it, uh, whatever is the term. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, I've gotten some good uh, pointers by Cookie Lou, if I'm getting the name right, on YouTube. She has been great helping me. Uh, and yes, I am icing that left knee, like you've uh, said. Um, and uh, I've gotten a appointment with the uh, orthopedist to see what he says and uh, to see what, what what I can do about it. Um, so far, I am hitting the gym for 35 minutes a day. I'm doing 25 minutes on the elliptical, and I'm doing 10 minutes on the bicycle. Um, I switched from inclined to regular bicycle. It all depends how I'm feeling that day. Um, and that's about it. Um, one thing my surgeon told me to do was uh, to kind of to help my left knee. I have to strengthen my thigh on my left on my left leg and um he told me to hold sit down and hold my left leg upwards for 30 seconds do five reps all the way leading up to one minute um and he said that in a couple of weeks i should see some improvement on my left knee so i have been doing it since thursday um i can't say yet yeah there has been some improvement so i'll let you know on that next update next month um as far as multivitamins go, people are still asking me, what are you taking? Are you still taking multivitamins? Yes, I am taking my multivitamins. Um, however, I am not going to GNC or or vitamin shop anymore. I am going to Walgreens getting my multivitamins. One, they are cheaper. Two, they are one-a-day pills. Three, it's not the one-a-day brand. It's a Walmart, Walmart, Walgreens brand, sorry. 
um, which is one a day, um, and it's perfect for people who work out, exercise, and are trying to live a more athletic lifestyle like I am. Um, I know it sounds funny me saying that, but I am trying to live a more athletic lifestyle. It's not about losing weight and just staying, you know, slim for the rest of my life. It's about changing the all around lifestyle. It's about being slim. It's about being healthy and it's about being athletic and being and moving around and not staying put and just working, going to sleep, eating, you know, I'm trying to do a lot of things and I'm trying to get back into that lifestyle that I used to have where I used to play basketball day and night play baseball, play softball, play volleyball even. Um, I used to go swimming in the Boy Scouts. I was a Boy Scout. I used to do climbing. I used to do hiking, 50, 12, 15-mile hikes. Um, I do have some merit badges, I know. But I'm trying to get back into that lifestyle. Um, and my goal this summer is to go either canoeing, kayaking, or rafting upstate New York. Um, and canoeing is something I used to really, really enjoy in the Boy Scout um, and last time I'd done that was probably the age of 12 or 13, to be honest. And I miss it. And I'm going back to do it. Um, so, yes, um, I am taking the multivitamins. I am taking my calcium pills, 1,000 milligrams, uh, 1,000 a day. Um, I am taking my vitamin D3. I'm taking the 5,000 units a day just to make sure. Primary said it's fine to keep taking them until whenever. He said if I want to come down, I could come down to two thousand a day, but uh, he he said it's it's up to me. They're not you know, it's nothing dangerous that I am overdoing on or anything. Um, I'm still taking my my B12 at twenty five thousand micromilligrams a day, MCG, whatever you call it. Sorry, I'm not a doctor. I don't have a degree in that. Um, I know, however, the front says twenty five hundred MCG. So, micro, milligram, maybe? I don't know. Um, you could correct me on that. Um, I am taking my Amaprazole still. Um, and I am taking the Ursodiol, which is to prevent gallstones. Um, I'm still taking that. Um, that's about it. Those are the only pills that I'm actually taking. Uh, now, as far as what am I able to eat, it still hasn't changed from the last video. I'm only able to eat uh, either wheat crackers, I prefer wheat thins, unsalted, um, or fiber select, one cup a week, or fiber one cereal, one cup a week. Um, I'm staying away from potatoes, I'm staying away from rice, I'm staying away from pastas, I'm staying away from bread, wheat or white, or rye, or whole grain, nine grain, twelve grain, any type of bread I'm staying away from, as well as pasta, uh, whole grain, and wheat, and white. Um, uh, staying away from corn, staying away from crout not croutons, uh, um, I do, however, for Super Bowl Sunday, I have munched, I munched a little bit on some chips with, uh, dip, um, like, I asked my doctor about it, my surgeon, and, uh, he said, you know, we are human, and sometimes we do need to eat what we crave, um, in order to just probably, like, what do you call, like, get rid of it, and that's exactly what I did, so... Do I want it anymore? Not really. Um, will I want it if it's in front of my face? Yeah, I'll eat one. I'll eat a two or three or four pieces. You know, I'll, I'll eat a few. And But, like I said, when I eat that, I am watching my caloric intake on every chew, on every aspect of the day. Um, I know if I'm going to eat those chips, I have to compensate on something else. I have to delegate. I have to take away um, probably the chicken... Uh, chicken filled lettuce wrap that I eat it sometimes I would have to take that off if I'm going to eat some chips and dip um, so you compensate you learn how to delegate as time goes by as you get better with the whole diet situation um, protein shake is still a pain in the ass honestly uh, I really stopped taking it uh, I don't drink them as much as I used to only because I mean come on I've been taking I've been drinking protein shakes since May yeah May and that's been such a long time for me. And I and I went to three or four different brands. And I've had it up to here with protein shakes. So I'm getting my protein intake through meats, chickens, beans, uh, beef. And not too much pork. Pork makes me a little sick. Um, and that's about it. Um, there are some questions that people have asked me. And, I, and I've seen that this question is being asked a lot. One of them is, what have been your biggest challenges during my journey so far 
and I have to say my biggest challenge, to be honest, was getting the approval from the insurance. Such a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know what it was. You know, it, it, it was just a pain, and that was my biggest challenge. And I'm surprised to say that it was my biggest challenge over learning how to eat properly on the new diet and after surgery and the post-op. No, insurance really was a pain in the neck for me, and that was my biggest challenge. What type of exercises have I incorporated into my lifestyle? Now, I said this before in this video. Um, elliptical, 25 minutes a day. Inclined bicycle, a regular bicycle for 10 or 15 minutes a day. And uh, some light weights on my biceps and triceps. And I try to lift a little, um, do some power squats or something in the machine in the gym. And that's about it to keep my muscle up. Um, I am going to try to start swimming with swimming is probably one of the best exercises you can get because it's so complete you're working out your all your muscles at one one time so i'm trying to find a place where i can do that um hopefully soon what behavioral changes am i most proud of um well let's see the most behavioral uh hmm. i gain so okay I have to say that my knowledge of food that I gained during the journey, um, I can go to the supermarket, I can eat, and I can just look at what's bad or how much is of this calories is in here, uh, you know, just the total food knowledge, how to eat healthy, you know, by just looking at the nutritional guide, facts in the back, comparing this, that, and that, you know, the knowledge that I've gotten so far on eating and shopping in general and even going out to a restaurant now is amazing. You know, I'm, it's like I'm Albert Einstein with food now, to be honest, and it's not, I'm not saying that to blow smoke up my, but I'm saying because, yes, I've gained an incredible amount of food knowledge. Um, to know what's good, to know what's bad, how much of this is how many calories, how many calories this has, how much proteins this has against this much calories, whether this has two more proteins and this has ten more calories, is this more worth it than something that you gain as you go? And that's something that I am amazingly proud of. Um, and the other thing is, being off carbs for a total of six to eight months, um, and when I mean carbs, I don't mean total carbs because I am getting carbs through beans and vegetables and, you know, stuff like that. But I mean the bad carbs, bread, pasta, rice, um, potato. Those are all bad carbs. Those are carbs that we don't need, um, in our life. And we can get those carbs through good ones like, uh, carrots and broccolis and, you know, vegetables and fruits and meats you know we get proteins that way chicken turkey we don't necessarily need, need those uh foods that bind us you know um i've tried eating a, a spoonful of rice one day and that made me s amazingly sick to my stomach and i totally decide to decline to eat it anymore whether it's a spoon whether it's this whether it's that i just won't eat it because it makes me sick pasta um i can tolerate a little more um, ravioli, if, if I would eat pasta, I would eat ravioli, Chef Boyardee mainly, or maybe homemade ravioli, or the ones that come frozen from BJ's or so, I would eat those, um, ravioli is chicken filled, or maybe cheese filled ravioli, I've tried it, and it doesn't do bad to my stomach, my stomach doesn't hurt, um, but that's one thing I would eat if I wanted to, but I don't, um, I don't crave it, um, we don't have those hormones that tell us to eat anymore. Um, do we get it back is the question I asked my surgeon. And he nodded fiercely no. He said, fortunately, we don't get it. We feel hungry, but not as much as we used to down the line. Um, I remember when I used to feel hungry, move on my way. It was terror. Anyway, I'm coming up on my 14 minute and 30 second mark. Guys, girls, followers, subscribers, watchers, thank you so much for sitting here for these 15 minutes and just hear me blabbing on my journey um i'd like to congratulate all of you guys who had surgery and who've had success so far if i helped in any way you're welcome if i didn't it's fine god bless peace take care and good luck for those of you who are going to get surgery this is alex signing out